On this week's Jack Swarbrick Show, Patrick Wall joins the program. The senior goalkeeper from Texas has eight shutouts on the season, including three straight. I'm Jack Collinsworth out here with Patrick Wall, senior goalkeeper from Texas. Patrick, thanks for being with us, man. Thanks for having me, Jack. So you are now 22-5 and five as a starter, eight shutouts. What's been the secret? Uh, I mean, honestly, any team you have that's been successful is successful because it's the team. I mean, we have uh, great players who always love to win, and as you can tell from our record, we've done pretty well. Now, last season you split time and goal, but this year it's all yours. How much confidence does that give you, knowing that it's going to be your spot night after night? I mean, it, it's a big deal. I mean, you love just being a solid player in the team. I mean, knowing that every game is going to be yours, uh, you just have a different mindset going into it. and. Uh, I mean, we found success through it, and the more success we have, the more confidence we get. No doubt. And this team won the Big East tournament last season. You guys won the ACC regular season tournament this season. What's it say about this program that you guys are able to switch conferences and still be successful? I think we're really making statements, and uh, I mean, anybody who's ever doubted Notre Dame soccer, if we're a legitimate competitor, I think we've silenced them pretty well. I mean, we moved over one of the best conferences in the, the country, and as you can tell, we've... Uh, We've won, it, won the first stage. Um, our next step is to win our next two games and win the ACC regular season or uh, reg ACC tournament. And, and being a goalkeeper and you have the veteran back line in front of you, how much does that mean to you, you know, having those veterans right up front? I mean, it's huge. I mean, the, guy, the four guys I have in front of me, you got Max Lakowiecki, Andrew O'Malley, Grant Van de Kestiel, and Luke Michoud. I mean, they're arguably one of the best, I mean, the best players in their positions in the country. And uh, I have faith in them that they'll do their job every day, and they make my job extremely easy. And veteran goalkeepers get to hear some interesting things when they go on the road. <laughs> yes. Have any funny stories? Um, NC State and Wake Forest has probably been the, the best hospitality I've gotten so far, <laughs> uh, if you want to word it that way. Um, usually you get about 1,000, 2,000 students sitting behind the goal who will look at my Facebook page, my Twitter, uh, will Google your name. They find all sorts of fun facts about you. And, uh, yeah, probably some things you don't want shouted in public. You just kind of got to get used to it. <laughs> okay, so you have, uh, when your offense is doing a good job controlling possession, which they've done a lot of this year, how do you maintain your focus back there and not, not, let, your game, not let your mind really drift away from the game? I mean, you just kind of have to stay engaged. I mean, if I sit back there daydreaming, I'm not doing my job very well. So uh, it's just, it kind of comes with the territory. I mean, every day you, you show up and you, you train very intensely and get used to it. So in the game, you just kind of carry it over. you think of yourself as a leader back there? I think I do, yeah. I mean, we work as a unit. Um, I mean, we have the four guys in front of me and then the defensive midfielder, who's usually Nick Beasler or Connor Kokoda, one of those two. I think all six of us are very strong leaders in the team, and I think that's a big reason our team's been successful. Now, what are going to be the, what are gonna be the uh, keys for this team down the stretch and during the postseason? What do, you, what do you guys have to do? Um, as long as we score goals, I think we'll win games. Um, I think we have a very solid defense in the back, and all it takes is one goal to win, and I think we have the guys up top to do it. So as long as we put the ball in the back of the net, I think we'll be very successful in the postseason. And four guys on the team from Texas. What's the draw? What's, what's bringing the Texas guys up here, man? Um, I'm not sure. It, it's got to be uh, Coach Clark's uh, good recruiting because uh, the weather up here is I much different say, uh, than I have back home. So, uh, I mean, obviously co playing for Coach Clark is uh, an amazing experience. And, uh, I mean, the guys are smart enough to know playing for him is a big deal. Now, your head coach, uh, Bobby Clark, he really likes your footwork. He's actually made a comment about your footwork. What's your relationship like with uh, Coach Clark? I mean, I love Coach Clark. I mean, uh, he is arguably one of the best goalkeepers who ever played the game. And he's, he's old school. Like, he grew up uh, basically wearing mittens as gloves. So. Anytime he says something, you kind of learn because he, he knows the basics up and down. And I've kind of made it my goal to try to master the basics similar to the way he has. And, I mean, now today with all the gloves you have and stuff like that, whenever you get the basics, it just makes life so much easier. No doubt. Same with football receivers. I don't even know how they played the game without the stick them on their hands they have now. What, what is it uh, that he's taught you about your footwork? I mean, he just kind of teaches you a, a, as easy as you can make it look. You can. Um, I think he likes me to play with my feet as much as I can, almost play like another field player. I mean, if you ever ask Boss, he'll always tell you about the days where he played as a, a field player out at Aberdeen. And uh, he reminds me about once a month of how I should work on it. And uh, back in my high school, I used to play as a field player as well. So 
I just kind of learn from him. I mean, he gives me advice on every little thing, and obviously when a guy with his kind of experience tells you something, you have to listen. No doubt. Was there, was there any favorite players you had growing up? Oh, uh, I mean, Iger Casillas uh, for Real Madrid is a big-time goalie. I mean, he's not the tallest, so he's somebody who I can kind of look at and uh, kind of aspire to play like. Also a guy named John Bush, who's one of the goalies. Uh, he used to be out of San Jose, and he's not much bigger than I am, and watching him has been big time. Uh, probably the third one's a guy named Tally Hall, who's uh, he plays for the Houston Dynamo, he's a goalkeeper, and just the way he carries himself out on the field and leads the team uh, gives me a lot to aspire to. And you had a little internship with the MLS this summer. I did. Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, I was fortunate enough, they uh, invited me in to train with them uh, this summer. Uh, one of their goalkeeper coaches, Tim Hanley, uh, has treated me very well and has given me the opportunity to learn from uh, their goalkeepers and their team out there. And they're just a huge group of professionals. I mean, every day they come into work and I mean, I can't imagine a better training atmosphere where they come in every day as competition to win and they try to get better every day. And I've kind of learned from that and implemented it into my own game. Now this clown is an aerospace engineer. What the heck are you gonna do with that? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Uh, I mean, I just, I enjoy it. I mean, I, as a kid, I always loved uh, watching planes and, I mean, seeing all the space stuff out there. So uh, when my dad sat me down and asked me what I wanted to do with uh, my degree, I figured I'd build planes. And, uh, I mean, it's hard work, but uh, like my dad always says, if uh, you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's absolutely awesome. You know, you know your time here is starting to come to an end at Notre Dame. What is it you're going to miss most? Uh, honestly, it's just the, the camaraderie you have with uh, the other students. I mean, I live with uh, five other non-athletes and just getting to hang out with them every day. I mean, they're guys who I met the first day of college and lived down, down the hall in my dorm, and they've been my best friends ever since. And just kind of having those guys around, I'm really going to miss. That's awesome. Thanks for being with us, man. No problem. Thanks, Jack. Dave, back to you.